So what exactly video editing is? This is the process of manipulating videos by rearranging different shots and scenes in order to create a whole new output. Absolutely, you are going to know each and every aspect that is necessary for you to get started with video editing. And of course, that is if you stick around and keep watching this video until the very end. All right, my dear friends. So right here, it is very clear and straightforward. You select here to open a new project. So this is the very first look you see in the very first time you open Wondershare Filmora. So to get you started right, I want to let you know that there is a language that we use in this industry, just terminology and the way we use it. For example, there words like projects, timeline, drag and drop, cut, split and so forth. So now as your very first task, I would like you to understand very well these terms the way we use them in this industry of video editing. So addressing the very first one which is called project. If you are editing something in Wondershare Filmora, that stuff you are doing right there is called the project. It's not a video yet because it's not yet exported. After we have exported it to become one final output, then that is now called the video. This information helps you to be able to communicate with the software to communicate with Wondershare Filmora in such a way that when you read project, when you read drag and drop, when you read import, when you read export, you don't take it literal, but you will understand what is supposed to be done. Just for a very simple example, you read project name, you read project file location, you read the rest of the stuff, and if you don't understand the video editing meaning of the word project, it's going to be hard for you to understand the whole concept. So the very first thing that I would like you to do right here is to go on the file. And here you are going to see that the term project is being used more and more and more. New project, open project, open recent project, save project, save project as. So this whole information just proves that we are working on a project. Just as I have explained to you earlier, we are working on a project, not a video yet. That being said, I would like you to click right here where it says save the project as, and here Wondershare Filmora is directly going to open for you the computer files, so you just have to rename this title right here. Okay, so we are good. Now you go save, and now we say you have saved the project, and as you can see, right here, it's now titled, My First Video. So the next thing right from there is to set up the project settings. We have just saved the project, but we haven't set the project settings. All right. So go again to file, and of course all other things here, we are going to explain them as we go. All right. So go straight to project settings. Right here, we only have a few things that you need to understand. And I'm going to explain all of that now. So the first thing is the aspect ratio. So this basically refers to the type of the project that you are going to create. For an example, when you go for the drop down menu here, you are going to see there are different types of projects that we can create right here. Widescreen, default 16 by 9. Instagram, one by one. Portrait, nine by 16. Standard business, cinema, vertical, custom. So just to give you a right perspective, this is what is being referred to as the aspect ratio. But let's say you want to create a project with the aspect ratio that is not mentioned right here. That is the very time for you to go for custom. Now, I want you to listen carefully on this. The aspect ratio works together with the resolution. While the aspect ratio is to show what type of a video, is it the widescreen, the vertical, and so forth. The resolution is the measurement of the amount of quality of that video in that certain particular aspect ratio. Just to make it simple for you, after you choose the type of the video that you want, whether you want this or this, on resolution, you are now choosing the amount of quality that you want that video to have. I think you're understanding something. For example, let me set back the default widescreen. 
Right here, I choose the resolution, and in other words, here I'm just choosing the amount of quality that I want this widescreen project to have. Understood? You can choose the 1280 by 720 HD, 1920 by 1080 Full HD, 4K, Ultra HD, 3840 by 2160. So now, when you set the custom aspect ratio right here, you are going to enter the resolution figures right here, which are custom according to the way you want the project to be. All right, so having that explained, let me tell you the frame rate. This is the measurement of how quickly frames appear within a second. So what it does, it determines how smooth the final output is going to be. When you click right here, you find out that Wondershare Filmora says 25 frames per second as the default. Now, all this depends with the type of project that you are working on. What do you want your final output to be? Is it a movie? Are you making a movie? Then you must go for 24 frames per second. Is it other general social media content? Then you can either choose 24 or 30, but when you are working on something like the gaming or the sports reels, then you better go for 60 FPS. All right. So right here again, we have the color space. Actually, this is one of those things that we are going to learn later, but basically this simply refers to the range of color shown in the image. So there are different of them. When you check out on the drop-down menu right here, you see, we have other two options, and this again depends on the project that you are working on. As for now, we just set it to default. So now that we have understood the project settings, let us go ahead. Now, you are seeing these divisions right here, the layouts or kind of the windows and stuff, and you don't understand what is this all about, all right? So I am going to explain all that right now, to make sure that you are going to understand this. Let me give you a very practical example, things that we do in daily life. Let us say you go to the shop to buy some little things you wanna use for bathing. Maybe lotions, bathing soap, towels, and maybe, I don't know whatever things you use for bathing. After bringing those little things home, you are going to put them somewhere else because you are not bathing yet. So you keep them in some shelves somewhere. And when the bathing time comes, you take them from the shelves and you head straight to the shower. And after that, you go straight to the mirror to see how are you looking now. So basically, here we have a shop. We have the shelves to keep things. We have the place where you do things. And after that, we have somewhere to see what we have done. The very same exact concept is going to apply, my dear friend. Here we got the shop, which is your computer files. So you bring the files from the computer, and the first thing you are going to keep them in the shelves, which is this window right here. After that, you take all of your stuff down to the timeline, which we have referred to as the shower, the place where you do things. And after that, you want to see what have you done, that is the time you are going to use this window, right here, which is the preview screen. So here is our literal practical lesson. This window right here is our media bin. And of course, there are other things that happens right here, which have nothing to do with the media thing, but just don't mind that now, because I will explain everything later. All right, and again, this is the place where we do everything, the battleground, the shower, the timeline, and this is the preview window. And this other little window right here is called the properties window. It actually shows you the properties of the file when you are working it out in the timeline. So each and every window can be dragged around and can be maximized and also can be removed. So just as I have expressed through the thumbnail and the title that this video is just an introduction to the great course that almost every potential creator needs, but be advised that everything that we have covered in this introduction video, I am not going to repeat the same. My next video is going to cover the rest of the course so that we can create one length video. So if you like the way I explained, share this video to other people who may need this information. So you check out this video right here. Probably it can be the second part of this course. Bye.